Okay, so this is the problem statement. A stream of three hydrocarbons are to be treated as follows. So we got a initial stream, which is this one, and we got three hydrocarbons. We don't know which one. Yeah, we, we know them. It's methane, isopentane, and dodecane, which is C12, C1, and C5. So if you are experienced with these type of processes, you most likely know that this is very easy to separate. Otherwise, stick to this problem statement. So they must be separated. Methane is only useful as a fuel. So it must be separated in a flash room and sent back to the stack. So as you can see here, we get a flash room and a gas stream. Hopefully in the simulation, we get most of the methane here and then we combust it in the reactor, in the reactor chamber or combustion chamber. The main separation is achieved in the flash room stated. Pressure and temperature is adjusted to 15 Celsius and about four atmospheres. Operation is adiabatic, meaning we are not adding or removing heat of any kind to the flash drum. The liquid stream, which technically should be dodecane and isopentane, are very valuable because you can sell them on the market as a petrochemical rather than to combust it for energy. So they are going to be further separated. Pressure and temperature condition are adjusted for the column. So we got the pressure changer and we don't know about the heat. Probably the temperature will remain. And then we have a distillation column which operates with a partial condenser and a reboiler. So we got the condenser which is partial and the reboiler. The current operation states 20 stages fed at the 10th stage. Reflux ratio is 2.5 molar molar and the ratio is 2.15 to 21.50 gas to distillate rate and dodecane is required at 150 kilopascals in the following plant but isopentane is ready to ship to our client so technically the isopentane can be left as it is but the dodecane must be pressurized for further treatment now about regarding the combustion chamber we can, and this is not likely to be given for a process engineer. So it is very common that you don't know what's happening and you will assume certain conditions. So in this specific case, we are going to assume that this is 100% conversion uh, to CO2. So anything that has carbon will be converted to CO2. Therefore, we need air, which is a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, Operation is adiabatic, of course, we don't want to cool down our reactor. What we want to do is to take advantage of that uh, high temperature in the turbine. Temperature in, in the inlet is 350 Celsius, pressure is about 405, and there is a drop of pressure which is high, 125 kilopascals. Turbine is used to decrease the pressure of the stack gas, and of course, you want to remove some work. Now the requirements are as follow. Model the plant using Aspen Heises in steady state. Verify material and energy balances of the unit operations and processes. Verify purity and composition of streams. Verify conditions of temperature, pressure and flow rates. Those are very common. And for the specific unit operations, you want to get the relevant results. So for instance, the heater and cooler, you will want the heat duty. For the combustion chamber, you will want the temperature achieved, the heat released, and so on. The compressor, pumps, and turbines, the required and given works. And for the columns, typically you will search for reboiler and condenser duties, as well as efficiencies.